I've been reading your comments and I saw some requests for a Katy Perry house tour, so that's exactly what we're gonna get into today. It might be a little difficult because Katy is definitely a real estate queen and she has more than one crazy property under her belt, including a really weird almost purchase, which I'll tell you guys about a little later. Katy is 34 at the time of this video and you may know her as a world famous singer songwriter, businesswoman, and judge on American Idol, among other things. She has 85.5 million followers on Instagram at the moment and she always manages to stay relevant. I remember Katie skyrocketing to fame when I was in high school, which was years ago, so she's been famous for a while now. With an estimated net worth of about 330 million, money definitely ain't an issue for Katie. It's no wonder the woman has been involved with some outrageous real estate. I mean, she clearly has the money for it. Her current mansion apparently costs 19 million US dollars, and that's not the only spot she has. Katie is engaged to actor Orlando Bloom, which I'm sure you already know. And although she has no kids yet, she has a dog, Nugget, who she adores. Nugget's actual fluffer. <laughs> her name is Jess Rona. She has Jess Rona Grooming. You should follow her on Instagram. It's Thank fabulous. You. Actually, I think she has two, Nugget and Mighty. So where does the star and her fam call home? We'll look into that. How many times have we done this video? Oh. <laughs> Take number five. Where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> Tell them! Hey guys, it's Kara and we're doing another house tour. Today we're going to be taking a look at Katy Perry's $19 million mansion as well as any other property she owns since it's not the only one. We'll also look at where she used to live and the convent Katie was trying to purchase for years. Yes, you heard right. She was in the process of buying a convent, which had some complication. Let's just say the nuns were not into it. If you like this series, I'll keep doing house tour vids. We also have been doing house tours of the Kardashian-Jenner homes, as well as other celebs like Ariana Grande, and we'll have links to those at the end of this. I've also been reading all your comments, and I'm gonna be responding to some at the end of this video. I need you to let me know who to do in the comments down below, and whose home you'd like to see. So before we look at the crazy mansion Katie lives in now, let's look at the spot she recently sold. You know, so we have something to compare to. Katie sold the home this year for just under 9 mil. Not too shabby. The house was located in a part of LA called Outpost Estates on Mulholland Drive. So it's a very rustic area, lots of trees. You know, we're continuing to go up towards the upper part of the hills. And you can see a lot of Spanish Mediterranean architecture from that 20s and 30s. Uh, you'll see a few newer contemporary style homes, but I guess kind of the preponderance is again 20s and 30s Spanish Mediterranean, a few traditional style homes. Um, that's kind of the uh, different things. And uh, so you can see there's a beautiful Spanish home there. Although the homes aren't all in the multi millions and there are some older houses in this area, the more expensive ones are around 8 mil or so, which have bigger lots. Katie's previous house was 7,418 square feet with four beds and six baths. It sat on almost three acres of land and had a ton of privacy because of all the greenery and the gated entry. The property was so expansive that there was space for a two-story guest house that even had its own separate garage. I really liked the master bathroom at this house. It reflected the Mediterranean style of the home and looked like the ideal place to unwind. The room featured a bathtub in the center of the room, a beautiful skylight overhead, and even an open fireplace. Also on the property separate from the main house, there was a full gym, a cabana, with a spa, outdoor fireplace, pizza oven, fountain, pool, and a security guardhouse. Even a meditation garden of fruit trees that looked pretty peaceful. Katie apparently tried to sell this house twice before, once back in 2017 with no luck. Finally, after a couple of years on the market, it found a new owner, Mr. Michael Chow, who is quite obviously the owner of the Mr. Chow restaurants. Now let's take a look at the main attraction, Katie's $19 million LA mansion, 
and with that price tag, it already sounds like quite the upgrade. This place is also in a gated community, of course, and the neighborhood is called Hidden Valley Estate. Hidden Valley is located in Coldwater Canyon, which is a celebrity-filled area of Beverly Hills. Just to get an idea, some of Katie's neighbors include Jennifer Lawrence, Cameron Diaz, Adele, Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher, and that's only a few. Let's just say you need some serious coin to live in this hood, and in Katie's case, almost 19 mil. So what does that buy you? A 5,427 square foot mansion with five beds and five baths that sits on 1.16 acres of land. If you're wondering what's around the estate at the moment, pretty much nothing. Surrounding Katie's entire mansion is still undeveloped land, which I'm guessing in the future will be some neighboring houses. I'm sure that makes the place extra quiet. The driveway is about a quarter mile long and there's off street parking for more than 20 cars. Seems pretty suitable for hosting parties then. Also outside there's an epic double edged infinity pool and a perfectly landscaped yard. There's a ton of privacy and views into the wooded canyon that surrounds the mansion. Katie has yet to invite a real tour inside her home so I'm not sure what she did with the place in terms of design, but apparently there's a lot of high ceilings inside and glass walls that provide perfect full views of the property. Maybe Katie Katie hasn't shown off the inside of her house because she has hoarding problems. She got some help with her organization recently from the company The Home Edit, and her caption on Instagram read, Big shout out to The Home Edit for helping me with my hoarding problems. Er, I meant my collecting problems. Well, wow, at least we get to see the inside of Katie's beauty cupboard. How thrilling. Anyways, I think this place must have been pretty special for Katie because it wasn't even listed on the open market, and some other celebrities expressed interest in it before. Over summer 2009, apparently Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban made an offer on the property, even though they own a home just around the corner, and even Lady Gaga wanted to buy this place. In the end, Katie was the lucky buyer. Katie didn't stop at the $19 million mansion though. No, no. She had to add on to it because 5,500 square feet just wasn't enough room for the star, clearly. If you're a friend or family member of Katie's, you might just be in luck since her second purchase was a giant guest house. Most guest houses are just extensions of the main property, but in Katie's case, this one is a whole new property altogether. Mind you, it's the neighboring one to hers. Both homes are in the Hidden Valley Estates. Katie purchased this add-on for, you know, only 7.5 mil, 4,410 square feet, and the lot is almost an acre of land. There are four bedrooms, five bathrooms, and there are even two separate wings in this house. For the guest house to have different wings, it's clearly huge. One wing of the home is the luxury master suite that has an attached deck with a view, two walk-in closets, an entire sitting area, as well as an ensuite bathroom with a large tub. Okay, the one wing of this guest house is bigger than my entire place, I think. The other wing has an ensuite bedroom as well, and even an office and gym. Whoever is staying in Katie's guest house doesn't even have to leave. This place is fully equipped. Finally, the main floor holds the other two bedrooms, a living room with a built-in bar, a dining room, and a full kitchen that lets in a lot of light. Outside, there's a pool and a secluded yard with plenty of greenery, so Katie won't even know what you're up to if you're staying over. It's also worth mentioning that Katie was trying to buy a convent for years. I'm not sure if she wanted to live there full time or just add it to her real estate portfolio, but apparently she planned to move in with her mother and grandmother. I mean, the girl is a former gospel singer and the daughter of a preacher. In 2015, Katie offered almost 15 million in cash for the place. Located in Los Feliz, this property used to be the Sisters of the Immaculate Heart of Mary convent and covers eight acres of land. The Spanish Gothic style estate has 30,000 square feet of living space inside and a separate building for the prayer quarters as well as a medieval tower and a beautiful fountain pool outside. Although the Archbishop agreed to sell to Katie, two of the last five living sisters at the time refused. One of the nuns explained, saying, even mentioning that she would sell her soul to Satan is against our principles and beliefs. Katy Perry represents everything we don't believe in. It would be a sin to sell to her. Despite Katy trying to win the sisters over, even singing them a gospel song and showing them her Jesus tattoo, they didn't cave. They thought she was nice, but nope. Then the nuns quickly sold the property behind everyone's backs to develop her Dana Hollister, who had hopes of turning the place into a hotel. Long story short, both Katie and the church sued Dana, leaving her bankrupt. Even though the court ended up ruling in Katie's favor and the path was almost clear for her to buy the place, it wasn't a happy ending. In 2018, court hearings were still going on as a result of Dana's bankruptcy and the original nuns who refused Katie 
just wanted her to stop pushing to buy the convent. Shortly after this interview, actually hours later, one of the two sisters, Catherine Holzman, collapsed and died in court. Well, that's pretty depressing to say the least. The convent was back on the market again as of June 2019, so if you're wondering, Katie clearly never finished the final purchase of the estate. Although Katie hasn't given a full tour of her properties from her real estate history, you can get a pretty clear idea. This pop star has made a name for herself and for her bank account and isn't afraid to splurge on an extravagant living space or two. It might seem a bit extra that Katie also purchased a guest house for over $7 million to add on to her main mansion, but with that kind of success, she doesn't need to explain herself. We do know that her fiance Orlando recently sold his bachelor pad, so maybe that extra house is for when the two get in a fight. Just kidding. I'm sure there's enough room for them to hide from each other in the main one, if that's the case. Katie probably just wanted that mansion space all for her, Orlando, and the dogs. And I'm just gonna assume that the $19 million mansion is where the couple lives now. I could be wrong. We do know that they're not living in that convent though. Despite Katie's drive to own this historic property, the end results were pretty grim and I don't think she would have wanted to live there after everything that went down. Okay guys, so now it's time to read some of your comments from previous videos. I seriously read almost all of them, but here goes. From our video on Kim Kardashian's house tour, Fran Powers said, I love the minimalistic vibe may change some of the furniture, especially in the dining room. From the first time I saw their bathroom sink, I loved it, and of course her closet is to die for. Prior to the reno, their home was homey though. I didn't like the exposed beams. Thank you for sharing. And she also added, love Chloe's home, love all of her organized spaces, love your house tours. Thanks so much, Fran. I really liked Kim and Kanye's sinks too. Even though the house seems a bit cold, there are some cool aspects that I do like. So happy you like the house tour. Kathy, Hugh, and Lola comments asking to do Kris Jenner's house and Victoria Beckham's. Kris Jenner's home will definitely be coming soon and I'll add Posh Spice to my list. And Cornelia commented on our Kylie Jenner house tour. The decorations were done to satisfy Kylie. She loves pink. She's very sweet and sensitive of how people are treated. I'm so happy she has her home just the way she wants it. Go Kylie, happy home. Thanks Cornelia, I agree, it totally reflects her. I actually liked her place. All right guys, that's all I could find on Katy Perry's real estate at the moment. I wish that she showed us more of her house and gave a real tour, but we'll have to wait and see. Maybe one day. I look forward to reading what you guys think about her spot, what your fave part was, or if I missed anything. I know Katy didn't end up moving in, but would you guys live in the old convent? I think it's pretty cool, but I would get lost, I'm sure. Place is huge. Which celebrity house has been your favorite so far? Let me know in the comments and let me know some other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna chat more. I'll see you next week with some new videos. Bye.